Hello guys welcome to my channel. For today's video I will be recommending 10 Manwa, Manwa, where Mick has a system, that you should read. So let's start the video. Dungeons, Monsters, Players exist in this world, the dungeon is full of resources and monsters, players are born to eliminate monsters and once the dungeon is clear, miners, like our main character, are the ones who mine the dungeon, our main character has a dream of becoming a player to help his family and, of course, some people who criticize that kind of dream, people who are awakened, rich and powerful, but suddenly the dungeon that our main character mining suddenly collapses and he was stuck in the dungeon with his companion Uncle Fan, also a miner, they are stuck while others escape, because the client who is awakened declined to help them, but suddenly a miracle happened, a system pops up that asking our main character if he want to become the king of the abyss, since he was about to die, our main character agree and awakened as the king of the abyss, that will change his life. Not bad I guess, the story is not that great, but it is alright, the art is decent, the main character is kinda developed, but there's some annoying characters, but overall not bad reading in my opinion. Our main character is a gaming addict he been playing a game for 5 years to reach level 200 while hiding his game name for the purposes of surprising the players in the game, but now is the day for him to show off, suddenly, a notification pops up, that says your account has been reported for cheating and your account will be deleted, our main character is so mad he punches his monitor and dies by being electrocuted, and when he woke up he was sent flying by the leader of a squad for being trash, cause in this world he was a trash, he thought this a dream but that changes quickly when the memories of the previous owner come back, and this is when he realized that this was not a dream but the reality that he was transmigrated to the world where awakened and zombie people exist. The main character in the story is smart, the story is mid though, but still enjoyable. The art, I think, is decent. I don't really recommend this apocalyptic system story to beginners, rather to the hardcore readers out there who have nothing to read. Suddenly, the sky turns dark, people start to panic. Then a system pops up and explains a bunch of things to them about what is happening, saying in that place you might die or obtain eternal life. After that brief explanation, they were transported to another world. Then our main character started to try understand the situation he was in. A notification pops up that says do you wish to awaken talent, and, of course, our main character didn't hesitate and pressed yes, then our main character awakened, and got a SSS ranked skill called Endless Extract, a skill that can extract any target with unexpected effects while using it. Because our main character is a genius, he stays low-key to this world and hides his true potential from others that also been transported there too, and after that, the beginner exam started. It's a decent story where main character is smart and uses the system to its full potential, and the art is quite good. The story could have been better, but still entertaining though. Han, reincarnated to the world of cultivation, and have system, that provides his needs to cultivate his potential, to become a powerful cultivator, even though he is so powerful, he is so eager to continue his cultivation, to achieve the highest level to become an immortal, this main character is so low-key and patient with a bright mind, that know how to handle a situation, and a type of guy not showing off, nor arrogant, and his only goal is to cultivate, to achieve the highest level in cultivation, and to live a long and safe life. I highly recommend this to all of you to read, because this manhwa has slight comedy in it, and a decent cultivation story, with amazing art, and the main character is well developed, and the story focusing more on growing and grinding, it's interesting and entertaining story to read. A parallel world where people are forced to play hide and seek when they reach 18 years old, a game where if you get caught in parallel space and die, you will disappear forever, but also in this parallel world you can obtain amazing things that you could imagine, wealth, ability, even immortality as long as you're winning. Then here's our main character who got summoned to this parallel world a detective in his original world, with the help of a system and his experience being detective let's find out how he would survive in this parallel world. I love this one. The plot is engaging and entertaining to read, and the art is phenomenal. The main character is well developed. And I highly recommend this one to read. Wu Chen is a traveler. He is trapped on July 7, 2020. Over a thousand years and he always wakes up on the same day and same time, but suddenly his life changes when he completes the millennium task, and unlocks the system that gives him a maximum level of his experience that he face, and do over a thousand of years, because of that he is finally free, 
and can enjoy his life without starting all over again, now the journey of his life is now become more and more interesting, because of what he did after that night, where he is on the bar and he got into trouble, but even that he can solved it, cause he had a system now, that can set the time and day, that he can use every time he wants, and because he is so smart, and have so many experiences about life, because his life more than thousands of years, he became unstoppable. This manhwa is so good to read, because the main character in the story is so badass, and because of the system, he becomes more powerful, even though the chapter is so short, it's worth reading. Zhou Hyunsu had the chance to climb to the tower, and got a system that gave him an item, skills that he needed, and to survive to every level inside the tower, and because this opportunity, this became the way to know the truth, that the government, and some corrupt guilds is giving a false information about every level of stage inside the tower, but because of his determination to climb the top of the tower, he used his skill, and abilities to get things done, and share the right information about the tower, the personality of main character is nice, he's pretty smart, and so skillful, and relying on his system to the fullest, which aiding him in every level of the tower, this manhwa is so good, while the story is focusing more on monster hunting, it has a nice balance of comedy and action, I recommend this to all of you because this manhwa is pretty good, even the arts is quite nice. This manhwa is a crime action that solves a mystery case, our main character's name is Zhao Yu, he died before, and transmigrated into a parallel world as a detective, and got a system that gives him hints, and encounter things, to help him to solve many cases, but even though, that he have system, he is an intelligent guy, and good to all of things, like fighting, that's why he had ruffian personality, and this guy he is straightforward man, and also had good looking with a sharp tongue, that's why there were so many girls around him, with these capabilities and skills, he is so good without a system, but eventually he had, so that's why, as long as he has a system, he take this opportunity to become a godly detective, and solve many mystery cases, that can contribute to his department. This story is so great, and has an amazing art, but this manhwa is too short, and has only few chapters right now, but I'm telling you won't regret reading it. The story begins when the dungeon appeared, and took place all over the world, and because of that disaster, many people died, and his parents also died, because of that, our main character suffered so much pain, and lives alone by himself, and promised that he will become a hunter to subjugate all monster, but after seven years he's still aspiring hunter, trying to work hard, and doing all of his best to achieve his dream to become hunter, but because he is untalented, all of his hard work become a waste, but unexpectedly things happened, Due to his will of determination the system appeared and chose him and gave him a hope to achieve his dream to become a powerful hunter, and awakened as a necromancer, and his primary goal is to fight monsters, and to survive to become a powerful hunter, to ensure that the calamity couldn't occur again, this main character is not typically showing off, nor showing his dominance, this type of manhwa is like solo leveling, and it's good for the readers who love action dungeon system type manhwa. The Prodigy Li Jinyong gave up on his dream of becoming a baseball athlete, and lived as a factory worker instead, because of his financial difficulties, but one day, a spirit baseball legend in Korea, his idol, who passed away 10 years ago, appeared to him, and at the same time, a system called baseball manager appeared, that can give him skill, and gained abilities that he can use at the mound of being a pitcher, now the opportunity that the system give him, and with the help of Kim Jinyo a spirit baseball player, Lee Jinyong returned to the field of mound, and got recruited to play on Gaiang star team, now this is the start of his career on baseball league. I recommend this to all of you because this is like a comedy sport manhwa, and the characters have a sense of humor, it is so funny, the two of them always arguing with each other, and the story is so great and well executed, and the art is amazing, this is my first time to see manhwa sport that the main character have a system, I hope you guys try reading it if you haven't read it yet. And that's the end of the video, but before ending this video, for more recommendations and updates, then please check out my other social media platforms, link is in the description, so I hope you find something to read there, and see you in my next video.